For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 10 of the Southampton career mode here on FIFA 18. After a ridiculous couple of games yesterday against Brighton and Burnley. I'm hoping to uh, to get some good points on the board today. We got a win against West Brom, but oh, sorry, West against West Brom against Brighton, but a, a heavy defeat against Burnley by five goals three. If you missed that game, check yesterday's episode because it was one of the most, if not the most, incredible game of football that I've been involved in on FIFA 18 to this point. This year, Liverpool and Everton today, as well as a game against Bournemouth the following Monday on the 4th. So uh, I'm not sure whether it's two trips to Merseyside, away from home and at home. So we go into Anfield, but Everton will travel down to us. And then hopefully the game against Bournemouth can see us pick up some good points as well. Liverpool actually, well, both Liverpool and Everton, joint bottom of the table. Didn't expect that. However... Teams never really seem to play against you the way that they play against all of the other AI sides. So Liverpool will probably be a completely different game to the way that they've played those opening 11. And they'll absolutely batter me and fly uh, back up the table. Similarly with Everton, they'll probably be really difficult to play against. We'll just have to wait and see. We currently sit in 14th uh, on 13 points. We are two points above the relegation zone and five points away from the Champions League. So still very early days. But we'll have to wait and see what happens in today's games. Hopefully we can pick up some good points. I'd very much like to get myself into the top half today, if possible. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any further uploads. There'll be a Roma career mode video later on this evening. There was one yesterday, of course, as well. But for now, we're going to concentrate on the game against Liverpool. Liverpool star Adam Bogdan in goal. That might have something to do with their current league position. The front three will be terrifying. Of course, former Southampton players Mane and Van Dijk will be in the starting lineup for Liverpool. I'm not sure if they've got goalkeeper injuries or whether Bogdan is genuinely their first team choice right now. Jordan Henderson looking for the ball through to for me. Wow. I've read that. I've stepped in front of the man, taken the ball away, and he's given a pen. Okay, then. Bottom of the table, Liverpool with a penalty after five minutes. And Roberto Firmino has his penalty saved by Alex McCarthy. Justice is done. Listen, that's Williams to Henderson again. Went through there to Sadio Mane. Henderson. Oh, and they've scored anyway. Brilliant. Oh, my God. Liverpool won Southampton nil after eight minutes. So Liverpool, Jordan Henderson, their goal scorer to take it. And they're going to get themselves a quick fire second. Hopefully not. Wijnaldum heads onto the roof of the net. Not far away. Money on the run. Still on the run. Looking to cut inside. Lays it back. I mean, I very nearly got there, but... He's played a nice little one-two with Alberto Moreno. Waiting for the cutback on the left foot. There it is. Played through. Firmino makes it 2-0. I told you Liverpool would play out of this world. It makes no sense. They're rock bottom of the table. Picked up just nine points from 11 games. But when they play against the user rather than the other AI teams, they play like Liverpool should. Ah! 2-0 down. Here's Romeo toward Prowse. The gap there to Charlie Austin. I've got Van Dijk with me. Get it in there. To, oh, to James will prowse that slightly over hit, but Quincy Promise will receive the ball. Try and show good footwork. Get it in the middle. Charlie Austin with the early shot, and it's 2-1. That's a nice goal as well. Liverpool, not the only team that can play some good football in and around the box. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Back in the game. Lovely footwork from Quincy Promise. Through the legs of Van Dijk from Charlie Austin into the back of the net. We are in this game still. Genie Wijnaldum. Nice tackle with James Will Prowse. Going for the counter attack. Now, Genie will have me for pace here, but he gave up, so that's fine. Knock that in front of Oriol Romeu, and I wait and wait and wait, and then play the ball to Sofian Buffal. Can I get the ball into the middle? Looking for Charlie Austin. No, I can't do the first one. Oriol Romeu loses out on that headed battle, but Lamina will turn and get it to Quincy Promise, who could perhaps turn himself and beat. 
Oh, still going across the box. Romeo, we turn it around. And look at the reaction from the Southampton fans flooding forward. We thought the game against Burnley was crazy. This one's setting up to be just as mental. 2-2 two, two after 27 minutes. Everyone's returned to their seats now. Watch the Southampton fans. Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the replay. They all come flooding forward. Oh, it's not quite going to go on long enough. They all flew forward as the ball crashed into the back of the net here at Anfield. It's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, Firmino with a nice turn. I'm trying to out muscle him there. They'll take the advantage. He's going to go for the shot. He is. Oh, did the keeper get anything on that? I'm not sure. Firmino looking to guide it into that bottom corner. Great angle for it as well, actually. But it didn't quite dip enough or swerve enough, sorry. It dipped for sure. It didn't quite turn enough. It was more of a straight shot than one that was going to bend into that bottom corner. Luckily, we're still level. We could have gone 3-2 down again. And into the channel for Roberto Firmino. Inside there to Mo Salah. Got to be careful not to foul him. His footwork's going to be good. There's Sadio Mane. Got to be careful not to foul him too. And Alex McCarthy with a good stop. <sighs> I'll tell you what, the Premier League's pretty exciting, isn't it? Jordan Henderson with the ball in. Keeper's going to come and punch. Seems almost every single game we've played this year in the Premier League with Southampton has been a thriller. Jordan Henderson going to lay this back to Alexander-Arnold. Not sure how this game will end at the minute. It's slowed down a little bit. But, as you can see, Liverpool still causing me all sorts of problems. Mo Salah skipping away from a challenge there. Cross waiting to come in. Oriol Romeu is uh, quite comfortable able to out-muscle the Egyptian, thankfully. James Ward-Prowse, actually. Yeah, Sofian Buffel isn't out wide, so I'll go back central to Oriol Romeu. Quincy Promise looks like he wants to get in behind there, but Alberto Moreno will have him matched for pace, so I have to be careful not to just needlessly give the ball away. We'll play it around the corner there to Cedric, who's gone on the overlap. Charlie Austin will drift towards the centre of the box and... Very nearly ended up being an awkward own goal for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Play the ball around the corner to Sofian Buffal to get away from Alexander-Arnold. What a run from Sofian Buffal. Go across goal. Good save by Adam Bogdan. Oh, that wasn't far away from us actually taking the lead here at Anfield. Uh, driving down the line. Bertrand trying his best to stay with him. To be fair, it's done particularly well. How Mohamed Salah hasn't just raced away from me there. I'm not entirely too sure. Mo Salah will take the throw himself though. Alexander-Arnold back to him. Cross to come in again. Maybe. Genie Wijnaldum working it around on the floor, electing to do that like they did for their previous goals. And Mane, oh, squeezes Liverpool back in front. Thought he was going to go across goal there, and I think the keeper did too. He almost half went to then have to go back to his near post. Goes and celebrates with Danny Ings. For some reason, maybe they've got some sort of bond formed in training behind the scenes. But see the keeper, he just flinches with his left hand to go left and then has to go down to his right and just can't quite react in time. But to be fair, he's really squeezed that as close to the post as physically possible. Sadio Mane makes it Liverpool 3, Southampton 2. Mane, across to Genie one Adam. Nice tackle by Maya Yoshida. Looking to get ourselves... Back in the game for a third time, if possible. They won two with Lamina there. Charlie Austin will go across here to James Will Price. Oh, beautiful ball! Be foul! No! Adam Bogdan makes the save. The threaded pass from James Ward Prowse was exquisite. Perfect angle, perfect weight of pass as well. But the keeper earning his first team selection here, Adam Bogdan. I questioned whether he should be in the starting 11, but clearly proving the point that he's worthy of that spot. Still around the corner. Thankfully, Buffal eventually reacted to the ball, but Adam Lallana intercepts. Come on as a substitute here for Liverpool, so they've got another former Southampton player on the field. There have been some calls in the comment section for me to perhaps try and snipe a couple of Liverpool players in this series and return the favour for what happens in real life. So we'll have to wait and see. But if I can slot Charlie Austin here, we might be able to return the favour for the goals that they've been scoring. But it's off the bar. Could still end up in the back of the net. If someone commits, Charlie Austin now hits the post with a secondary follow-up and will stay 3-2 down with 20 minutes to play. Not entirely too sure how I haven't pulled myself level for a third time. Oh, Charlie Austin. We might still... Clavan and Henderson get rid of it. Cedric. Down the line to promise. Looked to quickly get it inside, but didn't quite work as intended. Alberto Moreno comes away with it, and Cedric had already committed to pushing forward on the overlaps. Now I'm in trouble here. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, another, f don't you even think about it, another former, uh, former Southampton player 
playing for Liverpool now. Obviously didn't go directly from oh, Southampton to Liverpool. Went via Arsenal, but Lalana, Van Dijk, oh, Mane and Oxley Chamberlain all involved in the uh, squad here at Liverpool. Lalana just does me there and then it's a nice tucked away finish from Gino Wijnaldum. Looks like we're going to be losing at Anfield. It's currently 4-2 with 10 minutes to go. Camino. Looks to cut inside. Oh, he slotted through Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. It could be five. Please win this header. Thank you, Ryan Burchin. It very nearly was five. Alexander-Arnold going off. Keeping up my tradition of conceding a hell of a lot of goals in this division. Scoring a number as well, but until we are able to bring in some new defenders, then perhaps we will just have to get used to oh, conceding a lot of goals. A number of you were right. Spending oh, a large amount of money, oh, don't give a pen, on uh, Quincy Promise wasn't necessarily the cleverest of things to do at the beginning of the year. But to be fair, we were expecting to be able to sell on a number more players that we just didn't end up getting bids for. So the money that I thought I was going to be able to raise in the... Uh, oh, Oh, money that I thought I was going to be able to raise in the January, in the summer window just didn't materialise, unfortunately. So we are going to have to heavily rely on the January window to strengthen this Southampton side as much as we want to. Although at the same time, I did say at the beginning of the season that I didn't want to sign, you know, loads of players immediately and then, you know, find that we've become the finished article after one season and that kind of nullifies any potential growth in further seasons. By signing one marquee player and a couple of uh, fringe players, like we have done, Quincy Promise and then Justin Cliver, it keeps the, uh, the series fresh each and every window. And there's always somewhere new to improve. So perhaps it's a good thing for the longevity of the series that I did spend a large amount of money on Quincy Promise and uh, we haven't been able to strengthen it in multiple areas in the first window. Maybe it bodes well for the rest of the series. There's definitely more room for progress that way. But there's definitely room for progress as we've seen from this season to this point, somehow able to beat Manchester United by five goals to two and then lose to Burnley by five goals to three and now I'm going to lose to Liverpool by five goals to two. Ah, I can't do it! The Southampton team, the Southampton team are so hot and cold. They're either incredible or absolutely woeful. 5-2 to Liverpool here. We've conceded 10 goals in two games. I want to get myself into the top half, but do I actually deserve to be there? I'm not sure. 4-2-3-1 for Everton, Stekel and Berg in goal, not Jordan Pickford. Umar Nias up top, Sigurdsson out wide left, and Rooney through the middle at Cam. So, strong lineup. Idris Garnagay will be instrumental. Hopefully, Oriol Romeo will be able to play the similar sort of role for us, holding in midfield. And I'd like to get a win. Balassi into Nias, out to Yannick Balassi again. Tried a little bit of footwork by just dangling the leg and it didn't work. Oh, I was really lucky to keep possession there, but we'll try and use that good fortune to get ourselves an early goal. Charlie Austin, oh yes! We have used it to get an early goal. I thought as I turned inside there and the touch was a little bit heavy that I'd actually balls that up, but we've used it to our advantage and by having such a heavy touch, it actually meant the goalkeeper went the wrong way. Really nicely tucked away. The keeper, positional-wise, nowhere to be seen. It was a simple finish for Charlie. His 14th? 14th of the Premier League season thus far. Oh, bless his touch takes him inside. The left back. Is that a foul? Perhaps should have been. Blassi will turn. Get it to Umanias. Draws it across here to Gilfi Sigurdsson. Back to Schneidlin. Schneidlin blocked. Another former Southampton player playing against all of them. Former Southampton players, it seems, in this episode. That's what, six that we've faced so far? Kuko Martina, Adam Lalana, Morgan Schneidlin, Vir Virgil van Dijk, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, Sadio Mane. The list is endless. Southampton, definitely a selling club, but hopefully we can get ourselves a win here and forget all about the transfer policies in real life and concentrate on three points in FIFA. Across the Hoiberg around the corner. Valerie will push forward with it at right back. Once he promised ahead of me, he's not really making the best of runs, but eventually I'll just get it to his feet instead. Hoiberg could return it to him. Can he get inside the box here to a decent position? Try to drill it across ball. Across ball? Try to drill the ball across the box uh, to get myself 
a goal from a teammate in the middle, but unfortunately couldn't do it. Charlie Austin goes up for that header, but it drops here to Oriol Romeo. Back to James Ward-Prowse. Good first touch. Look to finesse it into the far corner, but only find the stand. All the way down the line. Romeo's into Hoiberg. It would be a Christmas miracle if we were able to get ourselves a clean sheet in this game. I think... We even kept... <laughs> We haven't kept a clean sheet yet in this Southampton series. Quincy Bromers on a great run here. Somehow still going. Quincy Bromers. Oh, what a save. 2-0 oh, would surely have set us up in a great position at the beginning of this second half to go for that victory. May still get it. Charlie Austin, good save by Stakelenberg. This time with his hands, not his feet. And Kuka Martina tidies up. Five minutes into the second half, we are still 1-0 in front. Valerie into James Ward-Prowse, who turns well. But Schneidlin deals with it. Yes, through to Rooney. Rooney. The cut back, there it is. Wesley Hurt reads it well. His attempted clearance bounces off. Wayne Rooney, though. Oh, the space for Nias. What did I say in the last highlight? Oh, I don't know. I wonder if I'll get my clean sheet this time. I jinx myself all the time. Curse of the commentator is real. Everton won, Southampton won. Wesley Hurt drawn out to Rooney, gets the tackle and bounces back to him. And then... Right where Wesley uh, who should have been. Very money yes, sneaks in. Merchant through the gap there to James Will Prowse. Oh, that's going to actually break free here. And Quincy Promise gets on the end of that. Turns inside well, pulls it back. Oh, please! We immediately take the lead again. How Promise was able to. Allowed to get to that by Kuka Martino, I'm not sure. Stakelenberg's made some ridiculous saves in this game, but I get so lucky that it pops up to that man again, Charlie Austin. His 15th goal of the Premier League season. It pumped forward. Charlie Austin should win this header and has done well to do so. I always fancy him in an aerial battle, Charlie. And Hoiberg could get in behind there, but it's well tracked by Patricia Carnegie. Superb defending from the midfielder. Nice ball around the corner there to Quincy Promes. Unfortunately, no one yet is in the box, really, to get on the end of the cross. Can Hoiberg win this header? Yes, he can. Charlie Austin for a hat-trick. Okay. That's good. Around the corner to Kuka Martina. We'll reach you, money ass. And 2-2. Oh, it's a lovely finesse effort into the far top corner. I just... I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Just but that's a great finish. Superb finish. Right, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to take Emil, uh, Pierre Emil Hoiberg off. And I'm going to bring on Dusan Tadic, see if he can change the game a little bit. Other than that, I'm quite happy with my game offensively. Just need strengthening at the back. Can I have Virgil van Dijk back, please, Liverpool? That would be great. Rooney squeezes that down the line there to Theo Walcott. Scared of his pace. Umar Nias. Okay then. Okay then. Sure. Fine. If you say so. Everton 3. Southampton 2. Oh. Free kick for Everton. Lofted in. Yoshida brings it down. It drops to Michael Keane somehow. Good save by Alex McCarthy to stop them from getting... A fourth. Nice turn by Justin Cliver, but Phil Jagielka just out muscles him annoyingly. There is still time for us to be able to get an equaliser here. But we'll have to wait and see whether I can actually get it. James Will Prowl steals that away. I'll look to quickly play through Charlie Austin. Please just take possession, Charlie Wright. Yes! I just had to concentrate. Charlie Austin, three for him, three for Umani Ass. It's a hat trick apiece. And it might well be a point apiece. Charlie Austin, not the best of finishes, but it went in. That's all I care about. 3-3. Three, three. David Clarsen. Spins well. Inside there to Theo Walcott. Oh, great turn, but it's not going to lead to anything. Now, can I see Quincy Promise. Find the right ball, Chez. Valerie over the top. Quincy Promise in behind to win it for Southampton. Justin Cliver, oh, go home, Stakelenberg. Stop it, go away. I can't win the game. Trying to win the game. Drive a near post for Charlie Austin to win. Adrissa heads away. Oh, God, I just am lost for words at how 
ridiculously challenging this series is. It's something I've never encountered on FIFA for years. This is the probably the first series I've had that has been like this ever in the history of my YouTube channel. <sighs> YouTube channel that incidentally is five years old today, actually. As you see this on Sunday, so happy birthday Chesnoy Gaming, I suppose. Right, a 3-3 draw against Everton. Now to go into game number three, after a hat-trick apiece for the two players involved there, and maybe we can get a win in game number three. Maybe we'll go defeat, draw, victory. Fingers crossed. 4-4-1-1 for Bournemouth here. Wilson sat behind, presumably, Jermaine Defoe. Yes, Jermaine Defoe. So, Asmir Begovic in goal. They have the best defensive record in the league, Bournemouth. They currently sit fourth. So, we've got it all to do here to get a win from the third game of the episode. But we'll try our best. Uh, change it to Sofia and Bufal. I'll go back up to Bufal, actually. We'll try and drive down this right-hand side. Try to fake Rabona. Get it on his right foot to look for the cross. Promise arriving with a header. Oh, that wasn't far away at all. It took a deflection as well. We'll take the corner. Or Prowse to deliver. Decent delivery. Lamina with the header. Begovic holds on well as Mariusuda was looking to step in. And again to Oriol Romeu. And again to Ryan Bertrand. And again to Sofi Ambufal. Turns his side well, looking to race away. Sofi Ambufal! Tried to catch the keeper out by going to the near post, not the far. But Asmir Begovic reaches away and gets to it, and he's going to come for that too. A good punch. If that had fallen better for Cedric, he might have been able to build it. A quicker secondary opportunity, but we still have the chance to do that. Austin, that was meant for Lamina, but James Will Prowse picks up on it. I'll try and drop the shoulder and shake them. It's not worked at all, has it? But we still could get another chance on goal. Here's Quincy Promise. Cross comes in. Charlie Austin's there and flicks it straight into the hands of Begovic. Wilson drills that into Jermaine Defoe. Oh, good turn. Oh, and somehow Striggles wriggles free. He striggled free. Alex McCarthy makes the stop. Wilson should look for Defoe here and has. Defoe! Oh, McCarthy keeps that out and will prevent the corner too. That's nicely done. Nice tackle by Romeo, just shielding the ball away from the man with his physicality there. We'll look for the ball through to Lamina. Poke it out wide, look for Quincy Promes. And there's a man at the back post. If we can get it to him, Asmir Begovic with a ridiculous save. Why James Will Prowse felt the need to... Uh, lunge for that and not just side foot at home is beyond me but we should be 1-0 in front there after five minutes of the second half but thanks to poor decision making from James Ward Prowse and a great save from Asmir Begovic it's still 0-0 but Quincy Promes yep no it's still 0-0 how has he not scored that Defoe oh, nice 1-2 and now there's space for Jermaine Defoe and it's great. Oh, squeezed in. That's superb football from Bournemouth. And I'm 1 0 down here. We can't have scored many better than this. <sighs> what has a man got to do to get a little bit of luck in this series? 1 0 Bournemouth. Lamina across to Cedric. God knows what that first touch was. Here's Lamina to promise. Cuts his side well. Look to. James Ward Prowls there. Can I get it around the corner to Charlie Austin? Yes. Charlie! Yeah. That's a James Ward Prowls. Charlie Austin. Promise played in. He missed the chance earlier on. Can he bury this one across the goal? No. Begovic with a save with his feet. It's a corner instead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lamina up with the header. Begovic saves again. Defoe. Augustus. Dennis last back to Lewis Cook, to Andrew Sermon. To Lewis Cook squeezes the shot. Keeps! Please. Please, game. Please. Just, just, just give me a break, will you? I've got so many defenders around in there. How he's been able to squeeze the shot off, I'm not sure. And the keeper just doesn't react until it's already passed him again. I need a new goalkeeper. Oh, 2-0 Bournemouth. Corner for Bournemouth. Andrew Sermon to deliver. Maya Yoshida heads away and Quincy Promise brings that down. No, accelerate away, Quincy. You're going to struggle for support. Oh my God, Junior Stanislas is a bit quick, isn't he? I'll still take the ball off him though. Cheers. Switch that looking for Justin Clivert. Please keep that in, Justin. Thank you. And he's played it in front of him well too. 
Can we find a teammate with the with the delivery? Romeu. As Mibegovic saves everything, no wonder they've got the best defensive record in the league with a goalkeeper that just quite simply cannot concede. Lewis Cook. Nice ball through. Carvalho with the turn. Bertrand tackles him nicely. Away we go. Pierre-Emil Hoiberg on the counter. Got Charlie Austin in front of me, but I'm just going to keep driving here until I run out of space. And as of yet, I haven't run out of space. Pierre Emil Hoiberg, what a run this is to Quincy Promes. Oh, jeeps. I thought he was going to miss again. Off the post and into the far side, or near side, side netting. We're back in the game at 2 1. We've scored two quick goals before. Can we do it again and rescue a point? We see with a switch. Bertrand seemed to take forever to actually react to that. Dusan Tadic steps in there to get the ball away, but still Bournemouth come forward. Jermaine Defoe. I'm just not allowed to win a game at Southampton. It's just not allowed to happen. I c I've got no luck. I've no not experienced the career mode like this ever, I don't think. I can't quite believe that things are going this badly for us. It's unbelievable. Bournemouth 3, Southampton 1. There's the final whistle. It's a defeat for us here against Bournemouth by three goals to one. Azmir Begovic better get man the match because all seven of his saves were out of this world. Well, the majority of them were at least. He made 11 saves total apparently. How can I have had... Okay, cool. Azmir Begovic has won Bournemouth that game. I can see why they got the best defensive record in the league. That was disgusting performance from Azmir Begovic. Two defeats and a draw against Liverpool, Bournemouth and Everton. We head to the next game against Manchester City, not knowing what on earth is going to happen. And it's a hell of a busy month between now and the end of the season. Seven games in three and a half weeks. As if things weren't already difficult enough for us. We are 17th. And only not in the relegation zone by goal difference. This is a career mode like no other that I have ever put out. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Drop the video a like if you are. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. This is going to be one hell of a series. I'll see you next time.